Okay, so I'm gonna give a tour of my storeroom. There's still some things that need to go in here, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. <laughs> So we're just going to go in here. When you first walk in here, I have sort of the box and shipping station. This was like a, it was sort of like an entertainment center at one point. It had like shelves and stuff, but I took all the shelves up and now I have all these boxes here. And then I have, you know, these little cards here that say the size of the box. So it makes it a lot easier to be able to to determine what box I need or which one is which. This is just one of those dry erase boards. It can stand tall or it can be tabletop. So that's just to write different things about orders or any information I need to know. This is sort of my like tape station. I got these, uh, they're like, they're called Bingo is the brand and they like stack together. I love these so much. I use a lot of these acrylic things and they're usually from the brand Bingo. I'll make sure that I link it and everything. So these are my little fragile stickers, the stickers that go on if something is hazardous so that it can't fly, uh, my different types of tape. This is my absolute favorite pa packing tape, tape of all time. I get it from Walmart. I will like that as well. This is just like my little phone thing. My scale and my thermal printer aren't here yet, but they will be. So this is just my little standing desk. This is actually the desk I used to stand in front of whenever I did live sales in my other space. Um, and I'm gonna bring a little chair here, but I have this little stand here uh, for my computer here and it like moves, you know, you can tilt it up or tilt it down. I love it so much, okay? And these are all the cards that I put in orders you know, the little um, coupon card type thing. So those are sitting there. These are little cards or tags that I use. I have some stuff that I got samples from companies. And so this is so I can write what the stuff is and then go ahead and put it on the box and that's that. This is a picture of me and my grandma. Uh, and then this is a picture of me and Avery. This is just something my mom gave me. It's like this little, uh, it's, you know, it's wooden and it says she's got plans. Oh, good idea. Um, you got this, feeling inspired, stay focused, and check it off. So I'm going to put you got this up. This is her little pep talk to me. Okay. So that is this part, which is basically this packing station part. And then over here, this is the closet for storage of stuff. Um, so I got a lot in here and it's actually, these two things are for my extra like paper that I put in the wigs. I got these big bins at, they're stackable. Um, I think I got them at Lowe's or something. And this stuff here, all in these bins is all for the background. So these are all background decorations. Uh, these are my 2022 taxes. Um, an extra mannequin head and then this is just extra packing paper like the little foam things if I need that some random small boxes and then these are stuff for like displays if I ever do like an in-person event and then again these are for my background and stuff like that so that's what's in here then we have this first section here okay and I'll walk around and then we'll talk about everything. And then I have this section here and then this closet. And then we have this section here, which is essentially where the live sales will happen. But let's go back over to this section. So over here, this table is actually technically a dining room table. But the cool thing is, is that it's on wheels, first of all, and this can open up. So it can open up on both sides if I need a table to do extra packing or something like that, okay? You can put the two sides up. I love this so much. Um, I'll link all this stuff. And then see. Then there's like these little... Okay. So when you put the leg part out to hold the table, there's this uh, area down here where you can put stuff. So this is where all my packing paper is. And then that's the holiday packing paper. And this is like my backup tape because I buy them in bulk. Okay, so that's this table. And the nice thing is, is that it can open up if I'm using it or it can just move and go either in between. It's probably just gonna live right here in front of these two racks, but 
it can go in between these racks if it needs to. Um, this is just a little cart that I had and I had extra of these like air inserts for packing. So this can come out. This shelf here, this is all sepia and some other miscellaneous, but mostly sepia. And then this here is, these are some, the hair grip, wig grips. But all these are these acrylic bins that, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. I got these from, I get these from Walmart. And see, they can come out. These are stackable drawers, but they can, they can come out. Um, and then I'll show you this really quickly. Okay, the cool thing about these is like you can take these out. So you can put as many things in here as you want. They all nestle in together. And I love these so very much. Um, so this system works together, the whole system. I have those here, and then these are like little drawers. And then these are where my, the hair grip ones are. And then like I said, this is a whole system, and then this drawer comes, and then okay. these sort of lock together. Up there, some clip-in extensions, some from Vivica Fox. I haven't shown them in a live sale yet. I need to. Uh, because they're like a set of like seven clip-in extensions. So those are up there. This is my little acrylic tree that I use for jewelry display if I need to. I haven't put jewelry on it just yet. Earrings and things, but I will. Okay. And then on the other side is the cap dues because they are, have been discontinued. So I have a bunch of those. And then these are like under the sink type drawers for um, some of the products. And then see this drawer comes out like this so cool this is also that bingo brand and some vivica fox so this is the rest of this is vivica fox down here okay then on this side i made this so i can put all this stuff that's in these different carts i wanted a lot of these different carts so that i could just you know put stuff back in so see i could just stick the cart back in so i had way more space and that's the the nice thing about this table as well so this is just, again, another bag of the insert stuff. Um, and then we have some, these are coach closet clean out things. These are wigs that don't have like boxes for whatever reason, if they're samples or what have you. And then this is Vivica Fox. This is another one of those uh, systems, those acrylic systems. And so the these type right here, those type can go like two on top of this if you want. So these are the pop by hairdo accessories and also some accessories, uh, synthetic hair accessories that I got from Vivica Fox. So that's those. These are sample wigs that I got from Sepia. Um, they're just, they're new. They just didn't have boxes with them. So I went ahead and I'm starting to label those. Those will be for a live sale. Um, this is a Sepia wig right here. So cute. Uh, that's Lollipop in the color F. 33, 32, 240. Okay, so that's one of my little mannequin girls there. And then let's put this table back. And I have this girl here, and she's got an aesthetic Reeves on in the color chocolate smoke. And then I have this little acrylic, um, you know, it twirls around in case I need it for something. Let's move her over a little bit. This is a little bin that I got from Joanne Fabrics that has my card inserts in it, the extra card inserts. This stuff is going to end up going over, over to here. I just brought this stuff in. Um, these are some more of the samples, extra bags down the, there. Those are just empty boxes I have um, that I can use to replace. This is all of like the stuff I use to pack jewelry and stuff, little baggies and things in here. This is all of like the combs and brushes. Uh, we have the sepia brushes. We have the folding combs. So this is like all combs and brushes, wig caps, the cheetah headbands, lashes, some jewelry stuff over there. And then this is where once there's like a live sale and there's orders, these bins will be able to hold, hold people's orders in them. There's some just like plastic bags for packing, some more of those sample wigs. And then these are the Renee Paris synthetic wig, the new ready to wear line. These were the open box ones. I just have to put those uh, back in the box neatly. And then over here at my desk, um, those bins down there will be where 
I have a lot of these type of like stickers that go on things. Um, so these are for that. This is the envelopes that I'm going to start sending out the Milano wig grip caps in. These are just cute boxes. And then these are all the inserts in here. You know, let's say like, welcome to Tamriya Wigs, like we price match. So those are right here. And then this, I absolutely love. This is meant to go under a bed, you unzip it. But this is where all my tissue paper is so that I can wrap orders with this. Like if there's something that needs to be wrapped. And then I just keep it right down there out of the way for when I don't need it. There's like a shelf behind this. It's just like a glass shelf. So really, the stuff that's behind there is just stuff that like I might need sometime. But I really don't need to get like... I don't need to get to it at all. It's got like scissors there and some other little things. Um, these are the claim cards. And then down here are the claim cards for accessories. Okay. So then we have this section. So this section is where the live sales are going to happen. Um, I'll be facing, my back will be to here. Okay. So then um, I have a little desk that'll be here and I'll put my lights up here, but uh, this part here is what you'll see in the background when you're when we're doing live sales. So down here, that's that's all my equipment. I haven't put my equipment up yet, but down here will be the wigs that'll be in the sale. You know, however that ends up working out. I've got the little accessories here. Those are just acrylic bins that are sitting there. Um, some just random little spring decorations. This is a sepia wig. Uh, the color is called Wisteria. I can't remember what the name is. Um, and then these are just my, they have X's on them because these are just, they're like empty wig waxes and stuff. So when I'm showing them on the live sale, I have them, but I'm not like taking up a whole product for it. These happen to just all be Vivica Fox because that's what I had set up. Um, my goal was to do the Vivica Fox sale that I just had here, but I wasn't set up yet. Um, and some headbands that are for sale. So you'll see all this in the background now. Here's the acrylic headband stand, um, some decorations, earrings. I got all the fascinators out on the girls. These are just various different wigs. Their tags are right here. Yeah, so this is really, really cool. Some clips that are going to be for sale. Okay, and this is like a bin that has all of the products in it like the extra products or products that I'm getting ready to sell I actually need two of these for a customer so I'm going to take these two out and then there's another wig up on that stand little garbage can and that's like a dry erase but it's like a glass one I haven't put that up yet so this is essentially what you're going to see behind you whenever I'm doing a live sale and this will change up um, all these mannequins are from Beltrest, these ones here, and I have some Renee Paris ones, and then the ones that were in my uh, room, okay? Then over here, this is also where I'm going to keep stuff for live sales or stuff that needs to be processed or, or, or what have you. So this is just something that it'll be basically to my left during the sale. You won't necessarily see it, but I got these cute yellow baskets at the dollar general and i love them so much the other baskets i got at big lots and then these are just the renee paris heat tool and the cool flow these are actually the empty boxes these are from my personal ones but then i can just use these boxes for the live sale this these are i think it's like a wine holder or something but i use this to clip on my desk so that i have that for during the live sales got a couple mannequins here um, these are sort of older mannequins from Model Model that I got at a I got these at like a flea market and they spin around. She's got too much hair. Let's spin her around. See, they spin around. So they spin around. They actually spin around quite easily, but I think her hair is getting caught in the back. But they have such pretty like faces on them. And I like these ones a lot. This is a new wig that I just got from Sepia called Moonlight. Woo -woo. And then that's just like an extra accessory holder. And then this is just a cool little thing I got uh, from a local store. Okay. So that's this section here. Got another girl here. She's just wearing a main Muse wig. This is a little... It's a dry erase, like these are like dry erase, chalk dry erase, which is really, really cool. 
Um, so this is what I used when I did that like in-person event. I'll maybe incorporate it here and there in the background, just depends on what's going on. Um, and then this little table is what I had planned to do the live sales on. So I would stand sort of right here in front of it and the lighting and stuff will go back. I'll probably still use it, but I was gonna attach my lights to this, but you can see it's a little too wobbly. So while you are watching live, I made a ring on it already. Um, but it's kind of cool and it can go right back in that corner when I'm not live, which I really, really liked. I really wanted that sp this space to be as functional as possible without being cluttered. Um, so this whole section is Noriko, Renee of Paris, and there's some Tony Bratton's just because they fit on the side here. Uh, these are all my color rings. And then these are the new ready to wear things in an acrylic bin here. And then the Renee Paris travel thing. These are some bigger boxes I just have stored here in case there's a bigger order. And then this side over here is Tressler. Tressler, Tony Bratton, hairdo, um, and Aesthetica. As I need to move things around, it will move around, but this is what's over on this side, okay? And so then watch my table can just go right on in here in between to do with one hand and then it fits right in there and then it's out of the way these are my three girls here with their little fascinators we got a wig pro wig sepia and then this is a bell tress okay then i have this table this actually does collapse like flat i just love this this is just a little light i wanted um but it's on wheels and so it's very useful, like when I'm doing inventory to have like my paper here and I can just roll this around and if there's stuff that I have to put away down there. So it's very useful, but you see these seams are here because this actually collapsed so that it's flat, okay? I have that table. So then this over here is the bell tress section and then the wig pro Bali and the Euro next, okay? So we have all those. Then this, these are actually made for like shoes and they're meant to stack this way, but I, I did them. I did them this way so that it would fit in this closet really nicely. Um, these are the bags that I use when I do like the makeup mystery bags. These are the handmade headbands here. Wano wig grip caps. Um, these are just some doll baby wigs that I need to do something with. And then those right down there, that's the in stock for the hot tools and the in styler or the dual styler. Then these are some more acrylic bins and they stack, these are the long ones and they stack, this essentially is all of my like decoration stuff. Ooh, I was looking for this exact thing, but I can't get it now. And then just jewelry holders. These, oh, these I think are for the wig cleaner. I'm not sure what that is. And then these stackable bins are all more like holiday things. These are those drawers and they have the Renee Paris wig grips in them. These are two mannequins that I have for sale. I think they're the Renee of Paris ones that like don't have a face. And then these are the, the bags for the holders. This is my iPad for work. This in this box is my new lighting system, which I need to put together. Um, it's a brand new lighting system from UB Size, which I love their lights. So I'm gonna pull this out because I need to get it, get it out. You know what, we can put this on table but I haven't even opened this yet like I've opened the box but it's this is what the lights look like so that's a whole thing oh this is also some new lighting so I gotta look into that as well so I got a lot of new lighting and so that's that little section and then see this table when I'm not using it can go right back in here and it just kind of goes right into that section. So it's just perfect. And when I have my lights, once I put these lights together, um, they'll probably just go back when, cause they'll be standing up just back in there when I'm not using it. So there we have it. This is my storeroom uh, for the time being. And yeah, I'm excited. I, I do have another room um, that is like my office. So like all the office stuff where I would film videos will be in the other room. It's not set up yet, but I will do a tour once it is, but it's not set up yet. Um, so it's basically a two, two room type of space, beautiful, natural lighting, huge windows. Um, I really, really love it. And yeah, this is the next step. 
and you know, I'll probably grow out of this one too. So <laughs> this is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, let me know and I will continue to sort of film my journey and the expansion and everything like that. But okay, that's what I have. Bye. Yeah.